Hello everybody and welcome. I am Heratoga and in this video I will show you how to get mods for your Project Zomboid games on Steam. Alrighty, so firstly what you're going to want to do is load up Steam and select Z Project Zomboid in your list and you'll notice over here it says Workshop that's where you go to get all the mods uh, for Project Zomboid. So we'll go there now and you'll be presented with this screen and this is where all the mods are. Now the game is currently in build 41 but soon it will be in build 42 but don't worry because this process will be exactly the same for build 42. So what you want to do is you want to look for mods for build 41 if you are currently in build 41 so we'll uh, select build 41 now this um, menu down here will be your friend because there is a ton of mods for project zomboid and uh, if we scroll right down to the bottom here these are all mods <laughs> There's all kinds of mods. Anything you can think of, there's a mod for it, for this game. <laughs> and as you can see here, there's 492 pages, and on each page there is a ton of mods. But uh, what you want to do to narrow down the field is have an idea what you want to look for. For example, vehicles. I like to add lots of different new vehicles to the game so if we go here and select vehicles now what we're doing is we're looking for vehicle mods for build 41 for projects on board and as you can see all the mods you'll be presented with will be for vehicles uh, I mean what the hell is that one does that look like a vehicle I, I don't know but yeah let's uh, carry on scrolling down um, there's all kinds of vehicles, even boats look. Boats, bikes, quad bikes, 4x4s, military vehicles, even tanks. I got a tank mod the other day, a Sherman. Pretty cool, you can drive it around. Um, there's a DeLorean from Back to the Future. And uh, there's the Mad Max vehicle. You know what, I don't have that vehicle yet, so this is going to be perfect to show you how to get these mods uh, for your game. So what you want to do is click on a mod that you like and it will show you some uh, pictures of, uh, of, of the actual mod. Um, the creators are kind enough to show you images of what it looks like. Now what you want to do is scroll down and if you want to know more about the mod there's always a description and it will tell you about the mod if there's any special things you need to know um, all that kind of stuff and on the right it will show you how many people have downloaded it and if we scroll further down you'll notice this here every mod for Project Zomboid has two IDs a workshop ID which is always a number and a mod ID which 90% of the time is a name. Some mods will have a number here also which will resemble the number above it but for now you don't need to worry about these. Um, this is for a future video how to install mods for a Project Zomboid server and that's where you'll need these IDs here so keep in mind every mod for Project Zomboid has two IDs so in the reviews this guy here requested this mod and someone was kind enough to make it so we have the Mad Max vehicle mod uh, from a request which is awesome and uh, I don't have this one yet so I'm, I'm gonna get it <laughs> so okay when you come across a mod that you want what you want to do is out of common courtesy rate it up and then to get the mod you want to click this subscribe here and this will download the mod onto your computer in uh, your Steam folder and I'll show you where they all get downloaded in a second 
So we'll click that, and there we go. I've, I've got the Mad Max vehicle. So uh, let's go and find out where it's put this mod on my computer, and then we'll go into the game, and I'll show you how to use these mods in, in the game. So uh, if we go back to the home screen here, and we'll drop this down. We're going on a hunt. So what you want to do is you want to click File Explorer and you want to go to this PC so you get to this screen which shows you all your hard drives on your computer. So you'll have to remember which hard drive you install Steam things on. Uh, for me it's my secondary hard drive because it's, it's bigger. So we'll go into there and you want to find a folder called Steam Library and then you want to click on Steam Apps and then you want to click on Workshop and then you want to click on Content and you'll be presented with this folder which is a number open it. Now all of these folders they, they have numbers right? Remember I said that a, a Steam mod for Project Zomboid has two IDs and one of them is a number well you can't tell what they are can you but if you open one and you click on mods then it will tell you what mod it is okay so that's how you can uh, see uh, what these mods are but you'll have to just go into them um, so as you can see this one's the silencer um, so all of these are mods that I've downloaded for projects on board now there's no limit really to how many mods you use on projects on board in one of your games um, but personally I have over 150 mods uh, <laughs> in one of my playthroughs and it's completely fine so uh, there you go alrighty so now you know where the mods go when you subscribe to them and you know where to go to get your mods that's if you uh, use Steam. So what we're going to do is close this down now and we're going to go back to Steam and we're going to load the game and I'll meet you on the title screen. Alrighty folks we are in the game and we are on the title screen okay so we've gone to get a mod for our Project Zomboid game so if you want to use it before you create a game this is what you're going to need to do so go into your mods folder here and this is the list of all the mods I use uh, for Project Zomboid as you can see there's absolutely tons of them millions of them. Now we're looking for the Mad Max mod that we uh, acquired uh, and it's this is all in alphabetical order so we're going to go all the way down to M there it is look Mad Max 2 Pursuit Special so if you want to use it you're going to have to click this button here until it says enabled and then all you do is click back and at the top right hand corner of the screen it will reload the LUA and there you go and that's how you uh, get mods for Project Zomboid um, just don't forget to enable them before you create a solo play or a multiplayer uh, game I'll make another video about how to install mods for a project Zomboid server and that's where the, the the two mod IDs will come into play but for now there you go um, I hope you found all this useful and if you have then please consider subscribing and if you really want to smash that like and I'll see you all in the next one ciao for now governors